when I first heard this band, I thought, what a unique voice that this band has, as well as a unique kind of tone this band has going for them. So, upon hearing this, I was kind of intrigued by what this voice conveyed. It wasn't a typical voice that we got in the 80s, it wasn't a dark brooding voice. It was instead unique and special. So it keeps my interest in something new and fresh, and that's what I'm looking for when it comes to music. The tone of the music also had a unique sound to it. And musically, it uh, seemed all there. The guitars uh, had some nice sounding riffs. It wasn't standard, I just do a heavy type of chug. It uh, wasn't just um, chord based. It had some interesting, um, like, lead stuff uh, going on, which uh, kind of elevated the uh, sound. So, I was I downloaded the album, I listened to it, and I thought it was good. The more you look into this album to see what it truly is, and what they don't want to see, things start pouring out and becoming more clear. So, first of all, this album is 40 minutes long. This isn't entirely true. So this is their third release. They have released three albums. This album came out in 2019. And yeah, it is 40 minutes. That is true, but not necessarily true. But how does this make sense? Well, um, three of the tracks at the end of this album are demo tracks. So you must think, well, I kind of want to hear proper tracks of the album, but if there is um, demo tracks that make you cut or something, then uh, no. no, this is demo tracks of tracks you've heard. There is three tracks on the album that are demo tracks from their first album. So this isn't therefore new. This you can't say, oh, I like this track off a new album. No, it's track off the first album but a worse production version because it's just a demo. It wasn't their final cut that they put out because they went and said this is better than the demo one. This is better. So this is just filler. This is stuff you've heard before but in a worse way. So it's not new. It's nothing. So you get less track that are therefore new and as part of an actual new album. Then last three, they're not new. It is not a part of this album, it's a part of the first one. So that will take the time run down from what you are actually getting new from what the band actually did in the studio. They didn't have to work on their demo tracks. Their demo tracks, they've been done for years. So let's focus on what they actually did for this album in 2019. So this will take the runtime from 40 down to 26 minutes, which is atrocious really, 26 minutes, that's your new album. This band was on a bit of a hiatus for their, um, after their second album, and this was their comeback after years of not doing anything, and then they come back, the band comes back again, all these years of wanting to do music, write music, what have they got to show for it? 26 minutes is all they've managed to uh, do in this uh, time gap. Leaves you thinking, what on earth have they been doing? So, um, it seems that the band have been wasting their time, let's say. They didn't really have a lot of material, and you got to think, with all that time, they should have had a lot of material, but they've barely got anything, so what have they been doing with their time? Is music really their biggest passion? It just kind of brings these things into question. So for 26 minutes with very few tracks, you must think they must have really honed in and really focused on these few tracks to make them out to perfection. And again, this isn't the case. As I said, I did kind of like this, which is what it brought me in originally. And then when I sit down and proper listen to it and I dissect everything within an inch of its life, I 
a lot of issues. So the unique voice, this is a female fronted band. And this female has a really uh, unique voice. It is really kind of technically it's a real sexy kind of way she um, sings. So it's not just clean energy, it's nothing like that. She sings in a sexy way. That is what she is going for. It's what the reviewers have uh, stated. That is the goal here. She's trying to sound feeling and sexy. She's got an effect on her voice which makes it sound like an echo, it's very thin kind of sound. So her voice kind of trails in that kind of echo in this big open space. And kind of like what you used to get in the early 2000s of metal music, that kind of uh, sound and voice where it's like you're playing a warehouse kind of uh, sound stage kind of stuff, that's what it really kind of got here. So she's got that kind of voice to her, and originally you kind of think that's a really kind of nice voice, but that is therefore all she does throughout the album, and eventually it becomes stale. If she was to do it for one track, then fair enough, but this is every single track, she sings like this. So it's not very versatile, it's just basically taking everything really slowly and trying to sound really sexy and pretty. She hasn't got any other kind of style to her. It's like David Draymond of Disturbed. Um, from the offset, he sounds good. But then when you listen to him through an album, you notice he has a style. And he cannot do anything else. From the offset, this vocalist, she has a good voice. She sounds good. Now, she probably has a great deal of range, but she doesn't convey it. It is all in this style of just... This is the kind of going for sex appeal kind of thing. So it gets stale, it gets boring. It sounds appealing to begin with. So if you've listened to the one off track, uh, her voice will probably please a fair few of you, unless it's just not your thing. But eventually, um, for the avid listener, this would be something that would kind of um, drain. It would kind of get a little strenuous to really. Uh, push yourself through because it just becomes all the same typical everything bleeds together musically though um it is a bit more interesting as i say it's not just a typical um chugging chords it's not just um do something really heavy or here's a power chord and that is everything until you get to uh your solo so this guy does actually break it up a bit he has some heavy chug moments and then he has power chord elements at times but in throughout songs he will do other things like leads and just something a bit better. So um, musically it, the songs do sound good. Where he falls is when it comes to solos. So the first three tracks kind of lack it. Uh, like the first track doesn't really have anything and then the second track you get something like a second. It's hard to say if it is a solo in the third track. Maybe. And then as you get like fifth odd track in, then you get something where it's like, ah, oh, here's a solo. So, let's just focus on that. This is the start of the album, this is what you're coming in with. And you sit and you hear a song with a nice, unique voice and some interesting uh, guitar work through the song. The songs aren't overly complex or complicated, like nothing is peaking like the five minute mark. I don't think they have any song on this album that uh, goes past the six or anything. So, um, it's the kind of simplistic structure of here's your intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then a bridge, uh, perhaps, uh, and on the chorus. Uh, so they don't do anything to kind of break the mould or anything special like that. So you hear the same kind of repetitious uh, format, so you know when you hear a verse, you're going to probably hear it again, and then when you watch the verse, you'll hear it again. So you're not going to hear anything else until you get to the bridge section, so things become a bit predictable. And then um, there's no solo to kind of break that uh, cycle, so things become a even more um, like uh, recycled. And then the voice, again, it doesn't change at all, so everything becomes yet again recycled, and then it becomes bleak, it becomes predictable, and then all the songs bleed into one. It's hard to single things out. It's hard to have an avid interest in something that's 
surprise with you when there is nothing surprising really happening. But when it comes to the solos, um, the guy has a technical prowess to him. Yeah, from skill, he's not the greatest guy out there. But he's not too bad. Um, the lengths um, could go for a bit longer, have a bit more variety to him. Um, he seems to try, but he's not that brilliant. So he's doing a solo, and it goes on for a decent amount of time. It's not over short, it's not really long either. It's just what is possible here. So he comes in, he lays it out. But you notice there's nothing overly technical about it. There's also not anything overly melodic about it, or nothing really emotionally investing. It's who has somewhat of a knowledge of skill and he's trying, but it's not you know, one of these guitarists who's like, I'm going to do a solo because I am good. He, this guy isn't that good. So he tries and I'm glad that he at least attempts, even if he isn't one of the best. It gives you more variety, it gives you um, more musicality to the song, it breaks up repetition. Um, so I appreciate that it is there, I'd rather it be there and not be great than to just not have it at all, um, all the time, that would, that would be what I would choose. But other than that, not much for the album, so let's go over this. Three tracks at the end, should you really listen to them when, as I say, they are just demo tracks? The tracks that have been cast aside because they're not good enough and they have then been refined into the final stage. This isn't that, it's a demo. It is also demo tracks of the first album. This is the third album, they, so people have heard that album, then it's been years, then they've had a second album, then there's been a lot of years until this album came out. So people have been hearing these songs over and over and over again for years. The demo is not going to bring anything new, it's nothing special, it is just padding. So you, only, you go from 40 minutes, which is, again, pretty bad, to 26 minutes of actual new stuff here. And it's been years since the previous album. Why have they not got more material? And the songs that are there, as I say, um, they've got very little to actually work with, so um, they have more time to really focus and make these things great. The first few tracks, they're just no solo, so there's no breakup, there's nothing to it. The as I say, actually do do something, so I am interested in it, and they have that unique tone of uh, what the early 2000s used to be, uh, like late like 90s even kind of sounds, kind of industrial a bit. The voice is unique, it's nice, it's very sexy in the voice, it's not just dry, it has this so like ghostly vibe about her voice and it's really nice until you know it's, it's not going away and she can't do anything else. The, uh, the effect is always turned on, it never shifts. Uh, her style, the way she has to sing it in a sexy manner never goes away. She never tries anything powerful or soft and melodic. It's just sex appeal and that is all she's really doing and as I say it's not just um, what I've picked up on there uh, I read reviews of this and this is what people say her voice gets quite draining and I agree and people sing in a sexy way and it just gets a bit much she is a vocalist and if you're a good vocalist you would have a lot more versatility to you than this um, Musically, they're not doing anything groundbreaking, it's the typical stuff. The voice is repetitive, there's not a lot going on. The solos, it takes a fair few tracks until you get into it, and then you've got a fair few tracks of that, and the last three, and just throw away the songs you got on the first album. They're useless. So you've got a 26 minute album. It's hard to say this is great when you've just got 26 minutes, and then the first three tracks don't even have a solo. And the vocalist, isn't that versatile on this album at least. So to score this, it's just a pretty meh album. Well, it's not the 
irritating, it's not atrocious, it's not something you listen to and just go, oh, this is so abysmal, um, I am angered by this. Not at all, as I said, her voice is good, it's just, she never does anything different with her voice, so it gets bland. This is fine, um, it's got a unique sound to it, which uh, gives you a bit of interest. There are solos in the Songs. They're not the best thing, but they are at least there just to give you something else to hear. Other than that, it's really special, so it's got stuff there to be like, alright, but it's not something that I got my way to listen to, but if it was on, I wouldn't have an issue with it. I may get a bit tired after a while because it, it gets a bit boring, but I, I wouldn't be angered or um, insulted or say, uh, turn this uh, dribble off. It's on, it's on. But it's nothing I would listen to on my own. So after this review, I will be deleting this album because there's just no new listenability. So I'll give it a five. It's just an average album. There's, um, there's flaws to it, and there's nothing that good about it, but it's not terrible. It's listenable. You can listen to it and it's Fine, but it's not really that good either. It's an average album, it's just fine. Great. Not abysmal. So, find that a chance. So, until next time, guys.